Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and just look to see where the 20 day moving average is and what it could mean if it holds. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the 20 day moving average, as we've spoken about before, is really not that important. Um, breaking it does not necessarily imply that price has to keep going down. We even talked about it over here. When we when we when we hold it as support, we can see an immediate bounce. Okay, like we did here. If we don't hold it as support, it doesn't mean that the move is necessarily over, which is exactly what we said over here. It just means that maybe we're going to chop sideways or we're going to go down. However, holding it. The reason why we're talking about it is because holding it can actually lead to a nice bounce in the short term. So we're going to want to see if this level holds. To give you, to, to let you know where it currently is, the 20 day moving average is currently at 32,416. If we zoom in, um, you can see we've already had a wick down to that level. We've had some wicks that have gone below it, but that is the level that we want to hold in order to see a short term bounce. 32,416, 32,417, somewhere in that ballpark. So we want to keep an eye on that. And the reason why this is not that important is because as we showed, just because you break it does not mean you can't ultimately trend higher maybe a week later, but it just means that you're not going to see that immediate bounce, okay? But holding it, uh, you know, for a day or two can often lead to a bounce. For instance, this one led to a bounce over three days of 15%. Let's go back in time and look at some other ones. You can see this was another night, an, another run up, and we held it as support, and we bounced 11%. Here's another one, holding it as support. We had wicks below it, the candles held it as support, we had a bounce of 15%. But again, the, the general idea here is that breaking it does not necessarily imply that the, the upward move is over, it just could mean that you're gonna go range bound for a while. Now, given how extended we are right now, it's certainly possible that that breaking it would lead to further short term downward movement. OK, so we don't want to imply that just because we fall below it doesn't mean we're going to necessarily be range bound in here. It, it could indicate a, a sharper correction. OK, so we just want to keep an eye on this because we, we've talked about the 20 day moving average anytime we're in a in, in bullish territory and we have a correction back down because it, it typically is the the first you know the first stop uh, significant stop before we try to hold as support and if we do hold it as support then it tends to lead to a nice short-term bounce if we were to get a bounce from say the wick of say 11 percent or 15 percent or so you know it could theoretically take us back to 36 37 thousand um, dollars if we don't get it and and we continue below the 20 day we will want to keep an eye on whether we start chopping sideways which i feel like is probably unlikely especially over a long period of time of course we could chop sideways for a few days but it seems like we're either as we as we've been saying video after video it seems like for the most part we're either going up or down we're not really getting a whole lot of sideways movement here and this was basically straight up and so far we've basically just been straight down and you know, right now, uh, you know, it, it would be nice to some degree if if this downward mo momentum is going to continue, which there's a decent probability that it will, but it would be nice, right, if Bitcoin could just rip the Band-Aid off, so to speak, uh, as opposed to, to watching it uh, come down day after day. If we continue moving down at this pace, you can see every single day we're just moving down further and further, uh, but if we continue moving down at this pace, then, you know, I mean, if we if we're all the way down here, say by, you know, in five days, the price could be twenty seven, twenty eight thousand dollars if we were to keep moving down at this pace. But if the 20 day holds, which is this level right here, which we've shown has held in the past during corrections in a bullish market, then again, a, a 10 to 15 percent move back up could be on the cards, okay, that could be on the cards. So just keep an eye on it, you know, we could go back and look at all sorts of times when when the 20 day has has held as support, 
and then you get you get a pretty immediate uh, move back up. But we've done it before. We've done it in the past. Um, and, and so I, ultimately, I don't think that the 20 day is, is that important. Uh, but it's one of those things that we'll just keep an eye on whenever we have a correction in a bullish market because the 20 day can at least provide the first level of support. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see if we end up ultimately dropping below or not. There certainly is a lot of selling pressure. Um, uh, we have been trending down day of day after day. So I'm not necessarily that hopeful that it holds, uh, but we'll see what happens. So if you guys like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we also have the premium list at into thecryptoverse.com if you guys want access to exclusive content and you can pay with crypto uh, to get access and get a nice 15% discount or so. So check it out into thecryptoverse.com. That'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Let's go for 100,000 subscribers, and I'll see you next time. Bye.